Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to another doll unboxing video. Today we are looking at the marvelous G3 rendition of Abby from Monster High and I am so beyond excited to finally have her. I ordered her when she like randomly popped up on Amazon a month ago. I know she's kind of been coming in and out of stock since then so like hopefully she'll be more widespread available very soon um, but mine finally arrived and I'm just so excited after literally a month of waiting to have her in my hand. I feel like I don't do unboxings all that often anymore. Maybe it's just because I make more videos now than when I first started the channel, but it feels like I used to make so many more unboxings and now it's like kind of a fun little treat for me when I get to do one. So I'm very excited to have her today. Obviously you can see her in the box here. She looks so tall. Like it's, it's so cute because the box size I think is the same as a regular Monster High doll. But because Abby is tall, which we're going to get into in detail later, she kind of looks like she's a little cramped in the box. Like she's not quite all splayed out. And I just think she looks so cute. And then the back of the box here, we've got some beautiful art of Abby. So that's what she looks like in the box. Obviously, we're going to have to take her out of the box. Before I can do that, though, if you guys find yourself enjoying the video, if you can give it a like, that's very helpful to me. And then if you're new here and you enjoy your time, definitely subscribe so you can see more. And then one other thing is in the links of every single video that I post, I always have links to the Tabby Tales Cat Rescue. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't like get anything for mentioning them in my videos. They don't even know that I do this. Um, but there's just a cat rescue that I think does really good and important work. So I always have links in the description down below of places that you can support them if you feel so inclined and every once in a while I like to like verbally shout them out as well and kind of let people know that that is an option obviously no pressure but like if you feel like donating somewhere that's definitely somewhere that I recommend but with that out of the way now we can go ahead and get to Abby I'm gonna unbox her off camera real quick and I will be right back with you guys to discuss her in detail see you in a sec okay got her all unboxed I know she's like facing away but she's literally like the height of the frame of my camera this is She's so cute. She's so big. But before we get into her, y'all already know we have to get through the, all the little stuff, like all the stuff she comes with. So the first thing is her pet woolly mammoth, Tundra. It was Shivers or Shiver in Wave 1, and now their name is Tundra. Very cute. I did like a Monster High pet ranking, and I do think that I prefer the Gen 3 version of Abby's pet. It's just, I don't know, it's just such a cute little design. So precious. I do think it's kind of interesting if you take a look at the underside where like all of the seams of the plastic are. There's a lot around Tundra's mouth. And I'm kind of confused by it. Like when I first took it out of the packaging, I actually thought that it was cracked. But it's way too regular to be cracks, right? So I don't know. A little confused about that. But like you can't see it if you're just looking head on. I love the shimmer too, like the fur portions. I think that's very, very cute. So yeah, I'm a fan of Tundra. Then Abby comes with these adorable little sunglasses. Sorry, I have like the some ties that I salvaged from the box that I want to keep to use for hair ties on my finger. <laughs> um, but she has these cute little icicle kind of like sparkly transparent sunglasses. I'm obsessed. They're very cute. On like me as a human being, first of all, I can't really wear sunglasses because I need actual glasses because I'm blind. Um, but the thin sunglasses don't look good on me, but on dolls, super cute. So I love these for Abby. Then she's got her snowflake bag, beautiful, sparkly. And this actually does open. It's kind of tricky for me. I'm just kind of bad at this sort of thing though. So like, I don't feel as though that's a true measure of how difficult it is. But it does actually pop open. You can't really fit. I mean, I guess you can fit precisely the snow corpse candies in there. I don't think you could, maybe her phone. Oh yeah, that wouldn't close because it's like covering the, so not her phone. And then I'm guessing not this either, no. So the only thing she comes with that you can actually fit in here is the little snow corpse candies. But I do appreciate that this bag does open and like has a click and clasp. I think that's really, really cute. And then Abby comes with like a stole. I always want to say that. And then immediately after I say it, I feel like it's the wrong word, but I think it's the right word. I think this is a stole. I don't know. I'm not usually a fan, but I actually think that this one is quite well executed. I love the fur. It's extremely soft. Aside from like the pieces of tinsel in there, because obviously the tinsel isn't going to be like as soft as the faux fur. But I like the way the tinsel looks. I think that's super cute. And I do like that it's fur on both sides, because I feel like a lot of the time doll soles are just like really flat on the one side or like, um, like when they've come with Barbie dolls in the past and some that I've gotten, it's like just this weird mesh material on the one side and it just looks kind of awkward. So I like this because if she has it like over her shoulder or around her neck or something, you're going to see fur on both sides. I just think that it looks better. So I am 
not like the biggest fan of it just because it's not my style but I do appreciate the like quality of this item and then I did like tease some of it <laughs> with the bag testing what would fit in but she does come with like little accessories that I'll show you guys real quick so when it comes to Abby's little accessories, first we have this adorable little like popsicle chocolate bar, R.I.P. Death by Chocolate. Super, super cute. And then her other food item is Snow Corpse. It's like a pun on the snow caps candy, which I think is super precious. It is only printed on the one side, but still very, very cute. Then she has her drink that has like little eyeballs on it. It almost reminds me of like eyeball boba. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but that's kind of what I'm getting. And then the whole lid does pop off it's very satisfying because like the lid's made of a different material than the cup so it stays on like I can't shake it off but it's super easy to take off intentionally I'm just really impressed by the design of that because I feel like that's very helpful for like kids especially playing with it but even as an adult collector I can appreciate that so that's super cute the only thing with this is that the bottom is like pretty rounded so it of course, now I can get it to stand up. Before I got the camera out, I was trying to get it to stand up and I couldn't do it at all. And now I do it on my first try. Um, so, so depending on your skill level, clearly it can be kind of hard to keep up. And then the last thing is her phone. I will say compared to like the first wave of the core dolls, I feel like the phone is definitely less pixelated. It's still not like perfectly crisp and clear but it is on a very very small scale so I do understand that I just wanted to point out that I feel like they have made improvements and then the back of her phone is shaped like this cute little swirly ice cream cone with horns so all of that is really really cute okay and now we can actually get to Abby herself which is the exciting part before we turn her around we can take a look at her hair here beautiful blend of colors like this such a lovely icy pastel blue and like the pinky purple color and of course the tinsel I know a lot of people don't like tinsel I'm a tinsel fan so like I'm not really upset about it her hair is polypropylene and I know a lot of people are extremely disappointed by that I do get it because like it's not the softest hair fiber available I'm not super horrified by poly if it's done well like for example the Claudine dolls from gen 3 of monster high that have had poly some of them have had really really bad poly like it's been a genuinely terrible experience touching their heads abby's is not as soft as other hair types like it's not like touching nylon but i do think that for polypropylene it's not the worst ever so like i don't know i know some people are a lot more into like the hair fiber than i am so i'm not trying to discount your feelings if you're upset by that but just so you know i don't think that it's like the worst ever and then as for Abby's face, it is so cute. Like she just looks so, so good. I know that a lot of people love this doll. I feel like Abby is one of the only G3 dolls that I have seen almost nothing negative about aside from like regards to the hair fiber. But as far as appearance goes, I feel like people love this doll so much and I, I get it. Like she's so, so stunning. There are like little flecks in her skin you can kind of see it. It's definitely not nearly the same level of like shimmer or glitter that the G1 Abby had, but it is kind of interesting that there's still a little something to her skin. And of course she's got like the freckles and a little snowflake over here. My only complaint with the face up is the nose. I think the idea is absolutely adorable like I love me a good like blushed nose moment or like a reddened nose moment obviously for Abby it is purple my only complaint is that it is a very harsh line of demarcation there like it's not blended out whatsoever so I'm probably gonna go in with some pastels and blend that out a little bit better just so it looks slightly more natural but it's really not that bad like that's you know, me being a little bit fussy. <laughs> I do think her hairstyle is really cute. I'm probably going to change it because she does have horns and I want to show them off a little bit better, but I like how it comes in the box. I especially love the inclusion of the purple uh, rubber bands for her hair ties, just because I think that it feels a little more intentional when hair ties have color to them, a little more tied into the design. So I think that that's super cute uh, when it comes to the rooting, because I didn't check that. Her hair is so long and honestly, it feels so thick. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to find, there it is. So yeah, I feel like that is quite thickly rooted. Like, she's got hair. You do not have to worry about the thickness of the hair. It is definitely there. 
and then a couple of little like icicle earrings, which are super cute. Moving down to her outfit, the shirt is all one piece. I know some people were a little bit disappointed about that. You know, obviously I would always love layers, but I do think that it looks really cute and I'm not super upset by it. The snowflake is actually so precious. There's a lot more color and like dimension to this little decal than I thought there would be. And I really love it. I also love the stitching on like the edges of Abby's shirt. I just think it, again, it looks more intentional. It's like the purple hair ties. It just looks very purposeful instead of like functional. I, I love that. Then we've got the mesh sleeves and the giant like poofy fur at the wrists. So cute. I love it so much. Uh, she does have a fanny pack here with a little keychain. I think that's cute. It obviously does move. I love the design for this, like the transparent, translucent plastic. Y'all know I'm a huge sucker for, and it does come off. So I will take this off of her really quick. Okay, that took me forever. I don't know, like, I'm just not doing well today. <laughs> I can't, like, use my hands. But this is what it looks like off of Abby, and it does have three different sizes here, so you could, like, change how tight it is on her, so you could place it on a different part of her, like, you could make it a little tighter, because it was displayed in the middle. So you could make it a little tighter and probably put it higher up on her waist. So I like the adjustability there. I think that that is a cool factor. And it was very secure, like, it took me a second to get it off. <laughs> so again, I know that could just be me, but like, it's not going to fall off. That's good news. That's super cute. And then her pants are honestly probably my favorite piece. I think these are just so, so pretty. Like the holographic snowflake design on the purple is so eye-catching and so beautiful. I think the cut looks so pretty on the stall. We are going to look at her body in a second here. Like we're going to get there. But like, she just looks so good i feel like this is so flattering and so pretty on her and then the design overall i think is so stunning with this huge like slit and the flare at the bottom these are so cool i am obsessed with these pants i love them so much one thing i am noticing that um you guys might be able to hear hear that i don't know where that's coming from we're gonna have to shake her again once i take her clothes off because i'm not sure if that's like the shoes rattling or if that's a joint I don't know, but back to the pants, super adorable. And then these shoes. Guys, I'm gonna lose my mind. Abby just looks so good. I love her fashion. Like, I don't think I would wear it, but I adore it. Like, I would follow her on Instagram. <laughs> She's so cute. The icicle, like, platforms are so good. I love this, like, fur molded on over the top. They're just so beautiful. I don't know. I'm obsessed with the shoes. So that is going to be everything I can say about Abby before getting her undressed here. <laughs> she does have a new body type, so I do want to go ahead and undress her to be able to look at that more in depth. And I'm just, I'm so excited about this. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we will wrap up with final thoughts about Abby. Okay, I have Frankie all de-robed here. <laughs> and then I have a Frankie and a Draculaura for comparison. Frankie and Abby look like they're about the same height, but I think that's because Frankie has shoes on and Abby is barefoot. So I want to say that Abby is like slightly taller than Frankie, very definitively taller than Draculaura. But then as far as like body type, Frankie is significantly thinner than Abby. I want to say Abby's even a little thicker than Draculaura, actually. She looks like it very very cute <laughs> i'm really excited about this because i feel like for a yeti doll like it's appropriate to have a thicker and taller doll like i love that for her i just think that she looks so beautiful and so pretty and i love the body diversity i just i love that you can look at these three dolls and they all have different body types that's super fun so i'm gonna take <laughs> my comparison dolls out of the way here for a second Okay, looking at Abby individually, I will say that, um, like I said, I think her, like, thighs are a little bit thicker than Draculaura's, and she definitely has a, like, bigger bust. So, again, just super unique, super fun, and I'm very, very excited about it. Her ears also, I didn't notice until I was undressing her, but this earring has, like, a fun little chain element to it, and look at the sculpt of her ears. They're so cute. It's so weird to be fixated on ears in G3, but I feel like they're just so precious. So now I kind of want to find a way to, like, style her hair that her ears and her horns are shown off, which I feel like is going to be hard to do, but I guess we'll make it, make it happen. <laughs> and she's not clinking anymore. So the clinking sound was just, like, the shoes on her feet, which is fine. Uh, her joints are, like, fine and, like, tight enough, but easy enough to move. So that is good because I was a little bit worried that maybe her knee joint was messed up, um, but it looks like she's doing well. So let me go ahead and redress her here real quick so we can give final thoughts. 
Okay, now that she is back in her clothing, we can do our final thoughts and like favorites and least favorite things about Abby. My favorite things are definitely just like her overall design, I think is super cohesive, super solid. It feels very much like a great rendition of Abby in like a more modern setting. I just think that she's very well designed. The face especially and the pants I am so obsessed with. And I love that she's on a tall and curvy body that just like is really cool to see Monster High continuing to add more diversity to their body types in this latest generation. As far as my least favorite things, it's honestly kind of hard for me to pick. Probably the nose not being blended out. That's not my favorite thing. And like, I know the hair is a slightly worse quality than like ideal, but genuinely I'm finding it hard to find real negative things about this doll. I think that she is beautifully designed. I feel like already you can kind of see some little improvements with the G3 Monster High dolls, like with how the phone was less pixelated and also just her design feels very, very strong. Like not that I don't like a lot of the other dolls, but hers especially just feels super cohesive. The detail with like the colored um, hair bands, I feel like they're getting better. Even like the back, like the core Wave 1 dolls, their bags had like slits or sometimes they would open, but like having this click, I think is really, really nice. So. I don't really have a lot negative to say, which is always a good thing. I love when that happens with my reviews because like I'm buying them obviously and I do reviews, but I am buying them for my collection. So I want a doll that I like and I definitely like Abby. I of course, as always, would love to hear your opinions down in the comments all about Abby and if you're buying her or if you've already bought her. Um, yeah, I would just love to talk about this lovely little Yeti a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.